So our last panelist for this uh, panel of doctoral students is Shivani Sharma. Shivani is a doctoral student here in Humanities and Social Sciences. Uh, her research interests include visual studies, semiotics and digital media cultures. In her doctoral research, she is developing analysis on epic narratives and media platforms. And today she's going to talk about, so apologies for a change in uh, the topic. She uh, is going to talk about um, something else now. It's an animated film based on the Bible. And the title for her paper today is Animation as a Transformative Process from the Text to the Visual, a Close Reading of the Prince of Egypt. Over to you, Shivani. Thank you so much, sir. And I would like to start this conversation with an... Uh, the presentation with an apology that I was, uh, that I had, s the abstract that I had submitted for this conference is actually under review in some other conference. So I have come to you with another uh, research on the similar lines on adaptation and intermediality in the Prince of Egypt. The title of my presentation is um, Animation as a Transformative Process from the Text to the Visual, a Close Reading of the Prince of Egypt. The study deals with the, so this is the trajectory of my presentation. The study deals with the questions of intermediality in the medium of animation through a close reading of The Prince of Egypt. The Prince of Egypt is a 1998 American animated musical drama film produced by DreamWorks Animation. It is the first DreamWorks feature to be traditionally animated. The Prince of Egypt is one of the adaptations of the biblical story of Exodus. The movie is an animated version of the story of Exodus with its own innovative storyline and special visual effects. Historically, the movie is based on the Bible but does confirm the status of Moses as a messenger. The movie is slightly based on another classical film, The Ten Commandments, came in 1956. In popular representation of the biblical story of Exodus, it is the Ten Commandments which install the figure of Moses as a photographic memory in public imagination. The founder of the DreamWorks pr uh, production house, Katzenberg, narrated how they decided to adapt the story of Exodus for an animated film where he says that, and I quote, it is a powerful allegory that we can relate with our times. The logic behind discussing the questions of intermediality through the medium of animation by taking the example of this film is that it has it has been considered as one of the significant works in the history of animation studies with the following reasons. There is an extensive use of 2D and 3D animation. It is considered to be as adaptation of a timeless and resonant narrative. The adaptation of the complex antagonist protagonist in feature of animation history and it also pushed the boundaries of the artistic and technological envelopes. Katzenberg explained that just as Disney and Pixar made great advances in perfecting the art of animation during the 1990s, DreamWorks also explored the character animation in which the background was perfectly captured with the grandeur of ancient Egypt. The special effects and managed to blend the hand-drawn and computer-generated styles. The scene of the chariot race, which we will discuss later, foreshadowed the deep canvas technology which was later ut utilized by Disney in films like Tarzan and Treasure Planet. The Prince of Egypt transformed the art of storytelling. Dreamwork and DreamWorks of uh, animations based on the biblical narratives redefined the boundaries of what the medium of animation was capable of. In the initial scenes of the narrative, the spectral treatment is given to the theme of Exodus, suggesting the multitude of slavery against the magnitude of Egyptian empire. Through techniques of animation, the vistas of Egyptian monuments are created, exhibiting the hegemonic power of the pharaoh and the conditions of Hebrew slaves is depicted to build those monuments. In another scene of Chariot Race, which provided the voyeuristic opportunity to the spectator to see closely the Egyptian empire and the Hebrew community. However, the scene is significant for setting the tone of the narrative. The scene marks a departure from the biblical mythology. The Chariot Race suggests that the animated film's narratives is an intimate story of familial emotions and their fragmentation through the conflicting interests of two brothers. The depicted playfulness in the scene suggests the convivial connection, connections between Ramesses and Moses. The scene is also significant for another symbolic, uh, 
a symbolic importance. The breaking of the news of the statue of king during the race suggests that their interconnected destiny and inevitable fall of the Egyptian empire. The symbolism is abundantly used in the narrative to suggest the underlining theme of the film. Intermediality is a way of understanding the relations between two media, such as image and uh, text, or the transgression of boundaries between them. The notion of intermediality can help us understand the interconnectedness between the source medium, such as text, and the target medium, like animation, and how their identical stylistic features allow adaptation of the story to transpose, to transpose the narrative into a visual medium while retaining its essence. The medium of animation retains subtly both abstract and actual elements which constantly interplay in the narrative. This paper intends to explain how these intermedial elements are present in the narrative and substantiate the adaptation as a new narrative while referring to the book of Exodus. Although animation tends to lack the elements of realism in its narrative, but it succeeds to compensate the absence of realism by deepening the visualization of scenes and characters. Animation makes complexity of the textual description of background apprehensible through visual effects and computerized techniques and renders the narrative as a perceptually lived experience for the spectator. The vagueness of animated characters is perceptual advantage in the narrative as it tends to transcend the stereotype depiction and lends depth and complexity to delineation of the characters. Animation also is capable of telling complex stories without the burden of maintaining the realistic codes and creating space for experiment at the same time in order to enhance the story of deploying visual effects. It allows a spectator to explore the interconnection between fiction and memory and between fantasy and realism. The Prince of Egypt, the technique of visual effects, does not replace the traditional storytelling. Rather, both are combined to render the mythological description of the story of Exodus visually presentable to the audience. To make animated version of the biblical story of Exodus in the Prince of Egypt about, and I quote, 300 artists, animators, and technicians from different countries were chosen in order to bring variety in creation of animated movie and avoid monolithic design in creating visual effects. The inherent visual potential of the medium of animation enables the filmmaker to reinvent the story and characterization as well and contextualize the narrative in the contemporary times. The physical description of Moses is not mentioned in the Bible. The absence of physical description of Moses in the text allowed the filmmakers to experiment with the character of Moses itself. As a result, the reinvented Moses emerged quite different from the biblical character. It becomes a hero through his marked presence in the visual narrative. The technological reproduction, uh, as Walter Benjamin might observe, of the figure of Moses in the movie highlights the significant semantic exchange between the Bible and its representation in popular culture. Moses of popular culture has emerged as more historical and legendary figure than Moses as described in the text. The character is uh, Moses of um, in popular culture is entrenched in the public imagination. The description of the character in text is fragmented and uncertain. Except the birth of Moses amidst the oppression of Hebrew, the information about his childhood and early youth is missing. The animated movie has either filled in the blanks or justified the missing information through its narrative design in order to present Moses as a popular figure. Through visualization, the spectator is invited to enter the mythical world as a coherent narrative. In fact, it is the specter of background created through visual effect which it in intensifies and magnifies the events of the narrative and elevates the character, uh, the character as a hero. The Prince of Egypt, the story of Exodus is perched of its magnitude and ecclesiastical dimension and is represented as a perpetuating dilemma of a hero who oscillates between his affiliations to his Hebrew family and his adopted family. By reducing the cosmic theme of the story to a personal dilemma of a sensitive hero, the aesthetics of everyday life are encoded into the story of Moses. The character of Moses appears more like a human being who is divided to the vein, as the poet Derek Walcott says, to his, and I quote, to his double and contested affiliation with an ecclesiastical messenger to, bring, to liberate the Hebrew from tyrannical ruler. What renders the audience aesthetically exalted is the double encoding of Moses as messenger and as a humanized figure. 
um, Mos the character is no longer a mythical, uh, the Moses is no longer a mythical character. In the movie, instead he embodies a contemporary existence through his visual manifestation in the narrative. The visual medium renders a different mode of reading and seeing the story of Moses through animated panels in a sequence. The three scenes which constitute the crux of this narrative, burning bush, the plague, and the parting of the Red Sea suggest the power of animation of transforming a textual description into a convincing visual narrative. In these scenes, Moses is no longer at the center stage of the narrative, rather he is reduced to a mere background. So in the, in the scene of the burning bush, the bush is a natural phenomenon and the spectator easily identifies with its natural existence but through lightning it is transformed into a voice. Such visual effects induce a sense of wonder in the spectator without losing its connection with reality. Similarly, the biblical, de uh, the biblical description of the plagues is turned into reality by creating visual scenes of blood, fire and locusts. However, the, the supposedly dreadful scenes of the plagues induce a sense of wonder, a much required presence than a sense of horror. However, the technology of animation exhibited itself best in the creation of the scene of the parting of the Red Sea. An almost impossible scene in natural existence is created as convincible as other scenes in the narrative. The 3D and 2D elements were combined to create a seamless flow of water which parts vertically to give way to Moses to cross the Red Sea. The vertical parting of the Red Sea is remarkable for visualizing the biblical description of the sea crossing. These pictures, panels, speak about the glory of an animation and the success of biblical stories when recasted into the animated format. However, a closer look at the panels also speak about the largeness of racial and cultural hegemony. For example, the opening scene itself can project slavery in the mega structures of empire building and empire sustaining. Similarly, the politics, the the conscious choice of filmmakers in the representation of the skin tone of Moses as a dark prince seems to have been a deliberate attempt in order to reach out to the world beyond DreamWorks and United States. These nuances cannot be ignored while discussing Prince of Egypt and establishing its critique. The artistic recognition and commercial success of the animated movie suggests that the movie is a creative and successful adaptation of the myth which has been reinvented in the movie to depict the uh, contemporary cultural ethos. The technique of animation has transformed the adaptation to the, uh, of the ecclesiastical story into a creative narrative about Moses and Remesis. The movie The Prince of Egypt is one of the examples, and I would end here, of adaptation of the mythology into popular culture, highlighting the role of popular culture in representing these mythical stories and providing a new mode of interpreting mythologies. Thank you.